All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got a great comparison video again for you today. And if you love Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler, then you're going to love this comparison video because we got 2009 Mr. Olympia winner Jay Cutler versus 2003 Mr. Olympia winner Big King Ronnie Coleman. And when I say Big King Ronnie Coleman, I mean Big King Ronnie Coleman. He was at almost a whopping 300 fucking pounds on stage ripped. 286 pounds to be precise. Then in 2004, the next year, he came in even bigger at 296 fucking pounds on stage. That's just mind blowing. But I digress. Then on the other side of this awesome comparison video, we got the cut above the rest, Jay Cutler. And some may say 2009 was the best Jay Cutler. Eh. I agree, but then again, it's kind of a toss-up between 2001 and 2009, and in my opinion, I like the 2001 version just a little bit better. He was more aesthetic. That's because he was only 250 pounds, not 265 pounds. That's just way too much weight. But I digress. So guys, enough with the chit-chat, and let's just jump right into this one. So without any further ado, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys. The front relaxed. And right away, what a tough pose to judge. I mean, Jay Cutler looks really good, but I'm going to go with Ronnie Coleman. He's just way too big and just way too wide. I mean, Jay Cutler does look pretty good in this pose. But Ronnie Coleman's just a fucking freak. And like I said, almost 300 pounds on stage. And he's pretty ripped. I mean, this is the most ripped you're going to get at 286 pounds. So I'm going to give the first point for the front relax to Big King Ronnie Coleman, guys. Off to the next pose. And we got the crab most muscular. And this was another really tough one. But I think I'm going to go with Jay Cutler. The silhouette looks a lot better. Ronnie's midsection is protruding like crazy. He just looks very uncomfortable. He just looks way too big and bloated in this uh in this pose anyway. So I'm going to go with Jay Cutler. I think Jay Cutler looks a little bit better in my opinion. His traps are popping a little bit more. His chest looks great. He looks so good holding in this pose. So Jay Cutler is going to get the point for the crab most muscular. All right, guys, now we got the front lat spread, and look at this. Jay Cutler's wide, but Ronnie Coleman is fucking wide as a 747 jumbo jet. Holy shit. You can't even see his neck. I say it all the time. He looks like a dinosaur with those huge quads. I mean, his midsection don't even look too bad in this pose. Then he's got those nice striations to the chest when he hits the front lat spread, big arms and shoulders. So Ronnie Coleman's going to get the point for the front lat spread. He looks a little bit better than Jay. All right, guys, now we got the ab and thigh, and look at how pretty Jay Cutler looks in this pose. This is a pretty ab and thigh, I gotta say. This is one of the most perfect ab and thighs I've ever seen. Nice little V taper, his chest looks great. Then look at the abs. He looks like he's got a fucking eight pack going on. Ronnie Coleman, on the other hand, has got a four pack going on, and he always leans his body to the right or the left when he hits an ab shot. He never hits it straight forward. I guess it makes him look a little more aesthetic in a way. So Jay Cutler's gonna get the point for the ab and thigh off to the next pose and we got the side chest shot and guys we all know ronnie coleman has a sick side chest shot but i think i'm gonna have to go with jay cutler on this one i think jay cutler looks a little bit better i think jay cutler's side chest is popping a little bit more i think he's got more striations and i think his shoulders and arms look a little bit better in this pose he just looks drier in this pose and the lighting might even be a little bit better for jay cutler so all in all in my opinion jay cutler is going to get the point for the side chest shot all right, guys, now we got the front double bicep, and Jay Cutler looks good. He's got nice big arms, nice little V-taper, blocky-ass midsection, don't get me wrong. I mean, his midsection's blockier than fucking Ronnie Coleman's midsection is. And Jay Cutler has unbelievable quads. I mean, just look at those fucking things. They're so deeply cut. Yeah, they're not as big as Ronnie Coleman's, but they're deeply cut, nicely separated, but Big King Ronnie Coleman's going to get the point. I mean, look at how big Ronnie Coleman's arms are. My God, Jay Cutler might have bigger biceps, but Ronnie Coleman's got bigger triceps and peakier biceps. So Ronnie Coleman's going to get the point for the front double bicep. All right, guys, now we got the side tricep, and um, yeah, there it is. There's the pancake. Let me tell you something. Ronnie Coleman's tricep in this pose, I know you really can't see it much. It's the way the uh, camera angle is or the way he's holding the pose, but his tricep just totally fucking disappeared. He's got, like, no tricep whatsoever. Jay Cutler, on the other hand, has got a thicker tricep, more deeply cut tricep. Side sweep to the quads look great. 
and and the silhouette looks unbelievable. So Jay Cutler's going to get the point there. All right, guys, now we got the Christmas tree. And I tell you, both guys look great. And I say it in all the Jay Cutler videos. Jay Cutler's Christmas tree looks like an upside-down sword. Right, guys? It looks like an upside-down sword. But uh, all in all, Ronnie Coleman's going to get the point. No one touches Ronnie Coleman in the Christmas tree pose. Nobody. And then those hams and glutes top the pose off, just making him look so good in the Christmas tree. I mean, when Ronnie Coleman turns around, it's just lights out. So Ronnie's getting the point for the Christmas tree for sure. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread. And Jay Cutler, I mean, he's wide, but his traps are just very washed out. He's got good hams and glutes, but his traps are just washed out. So Ronnie Coleman's going to get the point. I mean, Ronnie Coleman has one of the best rear lat spreads in bodybuilding history. Just look at those thick traps and look at how wide he is. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So Ronnie Coleman's going to get the point for the rear lat spread. All right, guys, now we got the last pose of the night, the rear double bicep. And Jay Cutler looks so good. If only he had a better lower back. If he had a better lower back, man, I'm telling you, Jay might have one of the best rear double bicep poses ever. But I'm going to go with King Ronnie Coleman. Even though Ronnie's back was starting to turn a little bit, if you look at his lats, his lower lats, they're starting to uh, fade, like, I don't know, melt away a little bit. But Ronnie Coleman still got one of the sickest rear double bicep poses ever. In bodybuilding history. No Phil Heath, no Dorian Yates. No, no, no. Ronnie Coleman. So, guys, this was a close one. But if we tally up the points here, we got Ronnie Coleman with six. And we got Jay Cutler with four. So, it was pretty close. But 2003 Ronnie Coleman is kind of untouchable. I mean, he was just so big and fucking ripped. It's, it's just mind-blowing. Just mind-blowing. So like I said, guys, it was 6-4, to four, Ronnie King Coleman, and I mean rightfully so. Jay Cutler was really good, though, in 2009. I would have loved to seen both of them, you know, both of them on stage together, 2003 versus 2009. All right, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.